what are accountability and auditing in information security in this video we will try to understand that when a user logs in using his username and password the username helps in the identification of the user and the password helps in the authentication of the user we have already discussed identification and authentication in one of our previous videos the link is provided in the description after the user logs in the authorization process ensures that the authenticated user can access only the resources the user is entitled to access we have also discussed authorization and access control in another video the link is provided in the description accounting refers to what all resources an authenticated user is actually accessing in other words accounting helps in keeping track of the activities of an authenticated user an authenticated user should be held responsible for all the resources he is accessing we need to ensure that the authenticated user behaves according to the rules business conduct and ethics of the organization in other words we need to hold an authenticated user accountable for all his activities and we can take several measures to ensure accountability for example we can review the organization's records or information to ensure an authenticated user is held responsible for any wrongdoing these measures are examples of auditing auditing helps us ensure that users comply with laws company policies and other bodies of administrative control a credit card company also can record and audit purchases made by a credit card user so if there is any unusual activity on the credit card the credit card company can freeze any purchase temporarily i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more please visit the website of the security body or refer to the playlist information security the security body also provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos